Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory. It's raining again, because, you know, might as well rename this world Sky Factory. It's now Rain Factory or something. So, this episode, I've got some more work to do on the castle. Um, I need to take advantage of all of my new resources coming in with the setup that I finished up last time. Um, it's just, it's filling up quick. I got a lot of stuff coming in. I got a bunch of limestone there to take care of so I can actually work on the castle. It's going to be good times. Um, right now, I was going to spend a little bit of time trying to upgrade this barrel some. I was going to make some pistons now that I've got redstone coming in. Speaking of, I should grab that redstone. And then, uh, I was going to see if I could get that, that puppy decked out there. There's some more redstone. So, let's see about uh, filling up that barrel. Tons of cobble. So, while you guys were away, I did manage also to finish up my second Manikio pad here. So I've got two full pads of Manikio farm going, which means it's time to start making other stuff. So, I've got a couple more crafting stations over here so that I can do stuff a little bit more. Yeah, I got Minikyo seeds left over. So then what's happening is this crafting station is making Minikyo seeds as I need them. Right now I don't really need them, um, but I will. Then this one's going to take my weak infusion stone, and just like that, it's going to make Akio. Akio, Akio, Akikiki. And then this one I can take um, and make things out of the Akio. So if we do an NEI search here for crops, that'll bring up all the magic crop stuff. What can I do with Akio? I can make Crucio, which I'm not doing yet. I can make a seed bag, which I'm not sure what that's doing for me. I'm not going to really get into it though. Prefer to do what I know here for some reason. I can make Akio ingots, which I don't need to. I can make Akio tools out of diamond tools. But I've got my Tinker's tool, so why would I want to do that? I can make a furnace, which, again, not sure what it's for. I can make blocks, or now here's where I start making the uh, stuff out of it. So four Akio Essence, a Manikio Seed, and four Coal make Coal Seeds, which will just grow Coal Essence and give me Coal all the time. So that's something I'm going to want. I have a decent input of Coal. I'm not really running out of it, but uh, having a more coming in wouldn't be bad. My barrel now holds 704 stacks of cobble, 45,056 items. And that's not even as upgraded as it can. I can put another 10 upgrade slots in there if I make a bunch more barrels and pistons and stuff. So I get sick and tired of feeding this automatic sieve all the time with all of my stone coming over here, adding another thing, coming over here, adding another thing. I wonder if I can just put a hopper on it and fill the hopper with smooth stone to make it go. All right, so there's a hopper, and now the hopper has, oh yeah, definitely done and done. Now that's just automatically feeding that. So then instead of doing it a stack at a time, I can have six stacks queued up at a time. That'll go much, much quicker. <laughs> uh, thanks guys for queuing me in on that. Oh wait. No. Ow. Okay. This tower is a little taller. I was trying to unsuccessfully trying to. Uh, is there any use left in this one? Not a whole lot. I was trying to come back down the nerd pole, but um, I couldn't just go straight back down the nerd pole because of the way I did it. Hey, guys, look! I died, and out of pity, my stairs changed the texture they're supposed to be in the first place. I didn't change them. I didn't fix them this time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Stairs, for your pity. I appreciate your sympathy. Usually I don't show this, but maybe uh, maybe I'll show you guys a clip of me building a wall just so that I can get some of you worry warts and panicky people to freak out about watching me build this wall. I'm uh, 
not using crouch on this. Okay, so then let's just move my nature seed down a bit and I can do a row of coal. There we go. Magicross is progressing. Okay, now I have eight more die seeds, so that's going to finish up this row, and I'll be able to move on to the next one. Because I just harvested all of my Minikyo here, and that gives me a couple of stacks. That's good, good, good stuff. Alright, so then I had to look up crops. I have to spell it right way, though. So, crops. And then I need Akio, which is this one. Akio is used for... So I got coal done, dye done, so now I need buckets of water to make water seeds. All right, and I have another glass dome roof here. You can see the other one over there through. Looks all nice and steel frame, steel frame girdery, steel frame. So let's just descend a little bit here. Take a look at that. This one I don't think ended up quite the same. I think I built it a little bit different on the corners than I did the last one, but that's okay. I really like the pattern the last one made too, so that's not an issue. Though, is this one as cool of a pattern? Yeah, that still looks really neat. Wow, yeah, that looks really cool, especially with the sun right through it right there. So, good stuff, good, good roof. If I do say so myself, and I have descended, and with that, both of my wing towers have been built externally. You got the four tier tower there, you've got a three tier tower here, bigger gap, and a little bit taller on the top too. And that was, of course, done in order to make a little bit of variety, a little bit different. Wait, three, two. Oh, this tower is actually like one shorter than that tower kinda weird short let's just take that out quick <laughs> never mind you didn't see that there so now I need a new project I mean other than the interior cuz everyone knows I'm putting that off pretty good <laughs> so what do I do now I can put away some of my materials here clean up a little bit now I know one of the things that was suggested for me is I could make these into animal pens, but I think the animals are going to have their own place. Um, I'm going to actually make like separate areas for different animals. However, the hobgoblins could use their own place, and they might end up getting one of these towers. Maybe I'll set them up and give them a nice little living area in one of the towers as a as an apology for the hobgoblin who accidentally lost his life in the line of chasing me. <clears throat> um, so, that that's definitely an option I'll do for him. So, uh, I am still going through some of your guys' comments, trying to decide on what I want to do, combined with what you guys want me to do. So, I will definitely make something out of all of that. It'll be nice. You know, I should go take a look at my magic crops farm and see how that's going on. What? What is this? I don't remember this sign being here. Hey weirdo, look behind the monster spawner! Exclamation! 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 MD twenty four. MD twenty four. Look behind the monster spawner. What's behind the monster spawner? Oh, there's a sign here. Not here, up top, dork, MD24. What? What is this? Something strange going on in the neighborhood. MD24, who's MD24? Everything seems... What? Keep out secret evil castle by order of CT? That's Creeper Tree. What? What is this? 
He's got an elevator. I wondered where that elevator went that I had. You know, the one that fell and I couldn't find it again? He got it. How? What? Is that <laughs> blank carpenter stairs? Couldn't even couldn't even decorate your carpenter stairs there, creeper tree? There, there, I made them for you. An elevator. Ah, in the clouds and there's no platform here. You have investigated far enough. Turn back now. There's like a, a pathway through what's left of the tree here with a holy crap ton of torches on it. Creeper Tree must have been a little afraid of the dark when he built this pathway. Well, I don't think that I'm quite prepared. I mean, my chest piece just broke... I'm wearing Technicolor glasses. I think I need to deck myself out for this. So I'm coming for you, Creeper Tree. But first, I need some equipment. MD-24. Ma Magic Daughter? That strange, strange, most likely insane girl that came and interviewed and tried to foment rebellion amongst my animals? I suppose that's what MD-24 stands for? Oh, this is going to be intense. I think the first thing I need to do, obviously Creeper Tree has been raiding some of my supplies here. I think the first thing I need to do is make sure he can't do that anymore. So, best way, make an impassable door. Okay, so I need to deck myself out. I need armor, so let's take a look at chest plates that I could possibly make. Okay, so let's make us a full set of diamonds. Armor is not something I've made in here before, so there's a chest piece, everything but that middle bit. And then pants, like that. Helmet, this is a little arch. Boots, full set of diamond armor. Now, in order to make it next step, I need these ingots, which are gold nuggets and iron. I got a bunch of iron I need. Some gold nuggets, take some more just in case. And then the osseo essence that I've got. Full set of osseo armor. I'm a, I'm a fearsome tiger. Grrr. <laughs> that looks really, really funny. Seriously, I look like some primal creature with a smiley face on my chest. If you ignore the arm, it, it looks like I got two eyes on a little smiley face on my chest. So much for fearsome creature there. <laughs> but look at the durability on that. My armor's completely maxed out in armor t-shirts. That is a suit of armor ready to go. Alright, so I've got armor to protect myself. I just put the Akio back over there so it's not in my inventory anymore. Next thing I need is weapons. Now, obviously, Purple Pokey is just fine for this one. Smite, sharpness, 8 damage. I don't even know if I can find something better than that. Okay, so on here, I want to make a crossbow. I need tough rod, limb, body, and string. What do I call this? Defiance. Sounds like a good name for it. I've got a crossbow. I need a stack of alumite tool rods, and now I'm pouring iron over them to make them into bolt cores. Okay, so I spent a long time there trying to gather feathers under the misunderstanding that I was going to be making one 
crossbow bolt per feather and per uh, bolt, uh, whatever it was called. So um, <clears throat> when I had gathered almost a full stack of feathers in addition to a full stack of the bolt cores, I found out that the bolts actually make 33 per one. So I have a lot more bolts than I needed. I've got two stacks over in a chest over there that I just left and didn't name them. And then I decided th this would be a good name for my bolts, so I named these four stacks I made. Stacks, I don't say... It's not a full stack of 64. Apparently these don't stack up. I can only make 33 in a stack. But then I went ahead and I made some of these. Okay, so after a little bit of research, I figured out how to use these targets. Now I've got some targets set up and I've got my crossbow locked and loaded. So let's check this out. Pew. Okay, so that's the reload time. Gotta make sure they die in one hit, huh? Pum. Pew! Oh, I gotta go a little higher. Trajectory. Pum. A little too high. Let's try there. There we go. Bullseye. Okay, get a clean shot on this one. Go a little higher for trajectory. Ooh, it's a little low still. That looks pretty close to bullseye. And then down here, this one's even farther back yet. Ooh, I can't tell how I did. Uh, uh, apparently I shot over the top of it, I guess. Look at that, there's a bullseye, just barely, and a, that's uh, a blue border. Pick those back up. Three shots on that one, one beautiful bullseye. One high, one low. Ooh, that one despawned before I could pick it up. And these already did. Yee. I pick them up quick or I lose them forever. Because uh, I'm really low on them. <laughs> Alright, take a shot. That one hit. So what is that reload time? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. About a five second reload on it. Do it, I can't minigun it, but, but still. All right, so I think I have my practice. I know how to use the crossbow. I know the timing on it. I'll have to put it next to my sword so that way I can switch back and forth quickly. Get those are cooking and while they are I think I will also carefully come over here and raid the uh, monster chests to see if there's anything I want to bring with for loot. Things that might help me. Regen that might help me. Swiftness, the nah. potion of regen, that'd be good. All right, I got a couple of potions here for me. A splash regen, regen, fire resistance, water, water breathing, just in case I come across a couple of strange things over there, some things that uh, need special treatment. I got myself a stack of baked potatoes, a stack of torches, a lasso, just in case I happen to, to find Creeper Tree himself, I could lasso him and bring him back and build a little prison for him or something there. And uh, I've got my pickaxe in case I have to break through anything, my sword, my crossbow, flint in case I have to go through wood, four 33s of arrows of crossbow bolts. I think I'm ready to go. I think I am set. Creeper Tree, next time, I'm coming for you. Thanks for joining me, guys, and make sure to come back next time when we show Creeper Tree what for. Bye, guys.